Hey guys, welcome back to the Rob Pop YouTube channel, your number one pit stop for all things Eurovision, and it's time to get our revamp on as we react for the second time this year to Albania's entry for Eurovision 2024. That's right, this is the first time I've done one of these where I actually react to a song for the second time, but Albania are the first country to actually officially upload their revamped version of their song. So way back in probably the start of January, I reacted to bass's entry, Zemre and Dore. I am gonna be honest, I wasn't a fan. This song has sat towards the bottom of my ranking since the beginning of the Eurovision season. However, a revamp can only hopefully make things better. And I'm really sort of going into this with an open mind. Besa has been really open-minded on social media ever since she won. She's been really asking for feedback, wanting to know what things people would like to see. And I absolutely love that. It actually makes me root for her even more. So I'm definitely going into this, hoping that I can like it more wondering whether this can put Albania back in contention of making it to the final. And yeah, I'm just really excited to see what they've done with this. It would seem that she's going with English language, or at least the title would suggest so. So that's an interesting change from the beginning, because if I remember rightly, the whole thing was in Albanian before, so... We're moving to English, interesting choice. But before we begin, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to this YouTube channel. We are now coming to the end of a reveal of all of the entries, but I will be going all the way through to Malmö in May, covering running orders, who I think could win, who I think is gonna qualify, really analyzing it all and getting my inspector glasses on to make some good old predictions. With that sounds like your cup of tea, I've always got a cup of tea in hand for a camp old gale time, so come on, join me along for the ride and hit subscribe. But no more time wasted. This this is the revamp for Albania's entry for Eurovision 2024. This is Besa and the song is Titan. Is this going to be a Titan of an entry? Let's go. You try and start a fight. So that confirms that we are going English language. Watch me. Even if I fall, I'm gonna get up. I'll be standing too Ooh, proud with my head. Check up. her out. Like Ooh, I'm liking the instrumentation behind this. It's giving it a bit more build. Obviously, it's hard to compare live to studio because they give two different vibes, but I'm enjoying this so far. I remember the second verse being the most exciting part last time, it's when the excitement got going. I feel like the production still feels a bit minimal, I'm going to need this to pick up a bit, but I do quite like the overall vibe. It feels a bit like early noughties R&B, it doesn't feel overly current to me still, that's my problem. I'm still, I still have similar issues to before for me. If anything, by moving this to English, it's lost a bit of its identity for me. It feels a bit dated to me. I still really like her though. I think this is a good end. It still feels like it's not quite going 100%, but I do think it's done something to lift the excitement of the song. Okay. It weren't bad. No, it was good. I think it's interesting that she seems to have departed from letting this be a ballad and she's made it a little bit more up tempo. I think she's tried to add a little bit more excitement to it. The production definitely feels like it's added a few more interesting elements to it, but it does still feel a little underbaked to me. And I still feel like Beza is giving it 100%. I feel like her vocals are really going for it, but I feel like because the production doesn't quite hit as hard, it makes the whole song feel a little bit less impactful. So yeah, I don't think it's Bass's fault, I just still don't think all of the ingredients of the song are allowing it to flourish as much as it could. And I dare say, now that it's in English, it also feels a bit more generic than it did before, because at least before, I actually remember really liking the rap section in the second verse, I liked how it sounded in Albanian. Now the song does run the risk of sounding like a generic English language song with poorer production than most of the other songs in the contest this year. That is a concern for me. Has it now lost a bit of its individuality? And I must emphasize, 
I really like her. I've liked her personality throughout this whole thing. I remember when she did that little slip in the Albanian national final. <laughs> and the way that she dealt with it was really cute. I enjoyed her in this music video. She was serving some good looks. She seemed confident. Her vocals were still on point. I just think she is capable of a better song. And I don't think that revamping this has ticked enough boxes that were previously unticked, personally. I did like that final chorus. I liked the way it got a bit of pace, like a good, we like a strong ending that takes you to a place that the, the rest of the song hasn't taken you so far. But I still do feel like it just doesn't feel very current to me. It feels like a bit like a sort of early noughties R&B kind of feel. And I just don't know that that's really super relevant in 2024. As ever though, Albania are great at staging and I will wait to see what she does with this because I think we already know that her vocals can keep up. So if they can bring some interesting staging to this, it could elevate things. I do think this could be a dark horse. Before, I definitely didn't think this was gonna qualify. Now I think it's in contention. I'm not convinced it will. If it does, I don't think it would do it with ease, but I do think it does make it a little bit more accessible, I think. To the everyday viewer that are gonna be voting for this on Televote, I do think the strength of this song does come across a bit more prominently than it did previously. So I think if the changes they've made are just to try and make it to the final, I think they may succeed in that. So I'm rooting for her, enjoying that she's taken chances. I think there are some things to take from this that I like but I think it's going to still need a little bit more from her. That's my takeaway. But love you, Besa. Genuinely, really, really do like her. And Loki, I'm kind of rooting for her just because I think she's a real cutie, to be honest. I think she's really sweet. So that's what I think. What are you thinking of this? I know Albania have a lot of passionate supporters. Has this revamp improved things for you? Or has it made things worse? Let me know down in the comments below how you're feeling about this revamp. Give this video a like if you enjoyed what you saw. And hit that bell if you want notifications every time I upload a video. But for now, I'm ready to see whether this song can build to become a titan of my Eurovision 2024 year. It could grow on me. I'm not ruling it out and I'm very excited to see plenty of you Albanians supporting this in Malmo so love to you in Albania thank you for watching good luck in Malmo and for now good night